Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Have you had your eyes scanned by the orb yet? All it takes is just one trip, and once your biometric data is in the database, you will receive some free money and a new digital identity that you will be able to use all over the internet. Doesn't that sound grand? As you will see in a moment, hundreds of thousands of people in Europe have already signed up. Those that have created Worldcoin intend for it to be a new identity and financial network that is owned by everyone on the entire world. The following comes directly from the official Worldcoin website. More than three years ago, we founded Worldcoin with the ambition of creating a new identity and financial network owned by everyone. The rollout begins today. If successful, we believe Worldcoin could drastically increase economic opportunity, scale a reliable solution for distinguishing humans from AI online, while preserving privacy, enable global democratic processes, and eventually show a potential path to AI-funded UPI. That initial paragraph certainly sounds wonderful. But once you start digging a bit deeper, you quickly discover the dystopian details of this scheme. Once you sign up for Worldcoin, your new world ID will be issued to you. Ultimately, the goal is for the entire internet to start using this new world ID system. Worldcoin consists of a privacy-preserving digital identity, or world ID, and, where laws allow, a digital currency, or WLD, received simply for being human. We hope that, where the rules are less clear, such as in the US, steps will be taken, so more people can benefit from both. Needless to say, just offering a world ID is not going to motivate a lot of people to embrace this new system. So the founders are also offering free money to everyone that signs up where laws allow for such a thing. Ultimately, the goal is to freely distribute tokens to all 8 billion people on Earth. The goal is simple and modest. To create a system that will, eventually, freely distribute tokens to all 8 billion people on Earth as a form of universal basic income, or UPI. But because the rise of AI will make it tricky to figure out who is human and who's a digital fake, Worldcoin first needs to create a system that lets people, all people, across the world, prove that they are in fact human beings. The idea of a universal basic income certainly appeals to a lot of people out there. Especially the lazy ones. But if you want your free money, you have got to visit the orb. The plan is for the orb to eventually scan the eyeballs of every single person in the entire world. Here is more from the official Worldcoin website. You can now download World App, the first protocol compatible wallet, and reserve your share. After visiting an orb, a biometric verification device, you will receive a world ID. This lets you prove you are a real and unique person online, while remaining completely private. As the global distribution of orbs is ramping up, you can find the closest one and book time to be verified with World App and at Worldcoin.org. Worldcoin is an attempt at global scale alignment, the journey will be challenging, and the outcome is uncertain. But finding new ways to broadly share the coming technological prosperity is a critical challenge of our time. We hope you'll join us. I don't know about you, but I never plan to visit the orb, and there is no way that I am ever going to allow these freaks to scan my eyeballs. But it is imperative for all of us to understand that this is a very serious threat, because one of the guys heading up this project is also the CEO of the company that brought us ChatGPT. If Worldcoin was the brainchild of some random crypto bro, maybe it could be laughed away as a delusion of grandeur. But the project has real intellectual heft. It was co-founded by Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, creator of ChatGPT, who's arguably the most central player in the development of AI. 
Altman suspects that the world will change forever if or when AI becomes so advanced that it achieves AGI or artificial general intelligence, meaning it truly surpasses the abilities of humans. Sam Altman is certainly a force to be reckoned with. And now, he is absolutely determined to get as many people into this new system as he possibly can. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end, to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. According to Zero Hedge, hundreds of thousands of people in Europe have already had their eyeballs scanned and have been issued a world ID. If reports are to be believed, the uptake in Spain, where the scheme first became available a year ago, is better than elsewhere, 150,000 participants in total, 20,000 new ones each day, and Barcelona is the place where a number of orb scanners will be installed. Portugal is not far behind, with 120,000 participants, and Germany is said to also be warming up to the project, ever since it started expanding two months ago. All in all, some 2 million biometric credentials are now operated by WorldCoin. It is quite interesting that Europeans are embracing WorldCoin so enthusiastically. Whenever some new dystopian scheme comes along, Europe always seems to be the most fertile soil. Why is that? Whether this new scheme ultimately succeeds or fails, it appears to be inevitable that the powers that be will try to force digital identification upon all of us, one way or another. And whoever controls the global system of digital identification that ultimately prevails will have immense power over the entire world. We really are living in perilous times, and things will continue to get a lot more interesting in the months and years ahead. So, I hope that you are ready for what is coming, because our world is starting to change at a pace that is absolutely breathtaking. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.